Hi everyone, welcome back. We've got a brand new unit that we are in. We just started unit four. Yes. Yeah, and we're gonna learn about some really cool stuff today. So today we are going to be reading a story which is called Alaska, a special place. Have you ever been to Alaska? I sadly have not yet in my life. Me either. It's a place I've always thought about going and I'm really hoping I can one day visit. Yes. We have expository text, which is nonfiction. So we're going to be seeing real photographs. It looks like we're going to have maps and even some captions that go along with our um, pictures. So let's go ahead and get started. It starts on your side, so I think you should read first. All right. Where can you find mountains, glaciers, and volcanoes? Alaska is the location you would visit. Alaska has different regions. In each part of the state, there are different features, land features. The tallest mountain in the United States is in Alaska. It is called Denali. Some people go to Alaska just to climb it. Alaska also has the biggest glaciers in all of the United States. Glaciers are made when one layer of snow falls on top of another. The snowfall becomes very thick. It turns to ice. The growth of a glacier makes many, takes many years to form. The next section is called temperature changes. Alaska has different temperatures. Northern Alaska is called the Arctic region. The temperatures are much colder than inside your freezer. The ground, lakes, and rivers are almost always frozen. As a result, most people live in the south of Alaska. It is warmer there. Crops grow well in the rich soil there. Now we're going to hear about some animals Ooh. that live in Alaska. <clears throat> Alaska has many different animals. You may spot a walrus or polar bear among the glaciers. You can see a black or brown bear fishing in a river or stream. In another region, you can see a moose or caribou. Wow, pretty cool. Daylight and darkness. The seasons are special here too. In summer, people celebrate the mild temperate weather. These lively people also celebrate the sunlight because the sun does not set for many days. In one village, the sun doesn't set for more than 80 days. You might be in bed and still see the sun shining. 80 days of sunlight with no darkness. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> but on the flip side, in winter, the sun doesn't rise at all in some places in Alaska. These places have more than 60 days of winter darkness. No, 60 days of darkness with no light. I take it back, I don't Whoa. wanna go. <laughs> you could have afternoon soccer practice in the dark. You might think this would be eerie, but Alaskans don't think this is weird. They are used to the dark winter days. Alaska is a very interesting place to live. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool facts yeah. about Alaska. I mean, from the temperature to the animals to learning about the daylight and darkness yeah. that happens, lots of cool facts. Let's take a look at the worksheet in our All packet right. that goes along with it. It almost sounds like a make-believe world, but it's part of the United States. It's it crazy, is. Yeah. I know. <laughs> really cool. All right. In your packet, our essential question this week is, what makes different parts of the world different? Well, meaning, how is it different than where you live, maybe? In fact, <clears throat> I know that in Alaska, they were talking about there were mountains and glaciers. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit different. I know that in other parts of the world, there's deserts uh -huh. and jungles. Yeah. Can you think of anything else that makes a different part of the world different? Yeah, some places are, I know I'm thinking of words that we used um, in social studies, rural, oh, where there's a yeah. lot of land and farmland and some uh -huh. parts of the world are full of urban cities with lots of skyscrapers mm. and not very much land because yeah. there's so many people living there. So they could write about anything that yeah. makes the world different. They yeah. could even just write about how maybe in some places there are Whatever. Whatever you want to say. Yeah. And in other places there are, you could talk about any places around the world that you want. It's pretty yeah. open-ended. Lots of ideas that you could write up here and the story might even help you. 
The next one asks, how is where you live different from Alaska? So we're talking about comparing Morgan Hill or San Martin, this area to Alaska. I have one. Let's hear it. Okay. We get a day and a night every day. Mm -hmm. We never have 60 days of night or 80 days of sunlight. Thank We always goodness. have a day and we always have a night. Yeah. I am very thankful for Me that. Me too. I, I sleep is thankful too. I couldn't live with 60 days of darkness. No, 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 no. no. I could probably handle the sunshine. Yeah. Not the darkness. Yeah. Well, that's a great thing. You yeah. know what I was thinking? They mentioned how in Alaska there are glaciers. Mm -hmm. And the last time I checked, we don't have any glaciers in Morgan we Hill. We don't. <laughs> so we can even write no. about that. All right, let's take a look at the bottom. We're going to be drawing a picture of what makes Alaska an interesting place. Well, animals, the oh, cool animals yeah. there, the polar bears, the walruses, the brown and black bears, the caribou and moose, that's mm -hmm. cool. You could draw like just a really dark setting or a really light setting or mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, lots of sun or lots of darkness or mountains and glaciers. So many cool things about Alaska. And you know what, boys and girls, you could get really curious. And if you wanted to go on Epic and look up other books Ooh. about Alaska and find cool pictures or more interesting facts, you could even do that too. So draw a picture for us. Don't forget to add those five colors if you want to challenge yourself. We are super excited to see what you come up with.